hello and welcome to my channel Libra. This reading will be for my Libra singles for the month of June of 2017. It is a general reading like always and if you're interested in a private reading please access that information down below this video. Um, and I've gone ahead and shuffled the cards and have laid them out for you so let's go ahead and get started for Libra singles of this month. All right, so I'm already seeing that I've got a few scenarios coming through here, Libra. The first of which, in the past position, for some of you Libras, you were in a relationship that ended up not working out. And as a result of releasing yourself from that relationship, you cleared the energy to make way for a better relationship. And so it's definitely picking up off of that since you did release your ex, You've done the work to clear the slate in order to welcome someone new into your life. This does fall into the past position and for some of you, I am feeling that you have met someone that you either were engaged to, married to, um, this next relationship that came in for you certainly resulted in one where there was a committed level there and um, I'm really feeling for the majority that you ended up moving in with this person. Um, I'm feeling that for some of you guys, you ended up getting engaged and or married because I'm also picking up in the past position that there was a honeymoon there and or you were in a honeymoon phase with this partner. So if a marriage did not actually occur here, you certainly spent a lot of time together to where you felt like you were on a honeymoon and it was a good connection. Now moving forward into the present position for my Libras, you're definitely taking the time to express your love in regard to this connection that you've made. Now whether it's addressing those of you who are already in a committed relationship from the past and that's moving forward into the present, but the majority that I'm feeling for Libra singles is that you've met someone that you feel is of a soulmate connection. So this is really separate from those of you who have experienced love in the past and who were in a committed relationship by way of either an engagement or a marriage from the past. Because the calling in your soulmate card for Libra singles is coming through in the present position. You've prayed about this person coming into your life. You've done your affirmations and visualizations to help bring you guys together. So you certainly have someone in mind that you feel is of a soulmate connection and you are currently wanting to express your love to this person. And this card, Express Your Love, is certainly affirming that you should go for it. Make the, make the romantic gesture and express your love to this person that you feel is your soulmate and that you are experiencing a nice connection with this person in the current position. Now this, it's also picking up the keep an open mind card guys and when that occurs in a reading it usually specifies that this person that you consider a soulmate they differ from your usual type and expectations either by way of features, ethnicity, personality, whatever the case may be they are just different from the usual type of person that you've dated in the past and um, as a result you've opened yourself up to a whole new level of meeting new people that you normally wouldn't date and that is the energy that's coming through here that this current soulmate that you've met that you've been with for some of you Libra singles it's really unlike any other relationship that you have been in in the past now moving forward guys for some of you um, I'm picking up that some Libra singles already have children from previous relationships and or some of you guys are possibly expecting and um, this falls into the present position however so I, I'm feeling that in the future you will be expecting children and um, I'm also picking up a deception card here though guys for a future relationship that may be wanting to come in and there's definitely going to be trust issues in this connection that's coming through and it's calling for you to have faith in that connection however there's definitely challenges that are going to be coming forth so for those of you in the future that may be encountering a relationship where it seems to just not be flowing well and there's 
certainly a deceptive element that's coming through there. One of you guys, and I'm feeling it will be your partner Libra, that will be wearing a false mask in this relationship. And as a result of that coming through and being revealed, you do free yourself from that situation because you decide to take control of your life. Religious factors is your bottom of the deck card, Libra, so I'm feeling that as a result of these challenges that come through, that you rely heavily on prayer and your spiritual support uh, from those around you to help elevate your love life to a better place as a result of any challenges that you encounter in the past. And it is affirming that your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing. Prayer is very much a part of you and that you are looking for a relationship that will put you on a spiritual path. And clearly, for some of you, you will be encountering a relationship that's just really not right for you. And as a result, you do free yourself from it. And sadly, you know, because children are going to be part of that equation, it ends up not working out. So just uh, move forward carefully and be aware of potential relationships, Libra, that you could be getting into where there may be deceptive behavior there, possibly a third party from a relationship that you get into in the future. But for those of you who have connected in the past, released your ex and cleared the energy, I'm feeling really good energy for those of you that have already connected. Um, I'm feeling more so that this connection is, uh, you guys feel like you're married, even though you are not married and that you're in this honeymoon phase. And even though it falls into the past position, it's still carrying forward. And then the other scenario coming through, of course, is that um, those of you who have connected with someone that you feel is of a soulmate connection and that you have prayed about it, and it's also picking up off of the religious factors card here for those of you that have been visualizing and praying about this soulmate coming in. And again, they're going to differ from your usual type and an expectation. So those are the energies coming through for my Libra singles for June of uh, this year. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and let's see additional messages that are coming through for Libra singles. All right, guys. So Spirit, please bring forth the messages for my Libra singles at this time. Please bring forth messages for my Libra singles to offer them the guidance, hope, and clarity that they need to move forward, especially this month of June of 2017 and onward. Okay, a couple more shuffles, guys. Okay, so let's see what we have for this month for Libra singles. Any additional messages from Spirit? Let's see what we've got. Okay, good enough. We have balance. We also have disruption. And we have the heart chakra card coming through. So let's analyze the first card that's come through, okay? So the balance card, very interestingly enough, in the traditional tarot, guys, this represents the justice card. And it's also representative of Libra energy. So your, your energies are coming through very strongly in this reading Libra. Okay. And usually when this card comes through, the justice card slash balance card in a spread, in a reading, it represents the need for balance and harmony from your inner life and your physical world lifestyle adjustments are required. It could also be indicative of those of you who are in the legal field or law related matters could be popping up for you at this time as well. However, for my Libra singles, those of you who are dealing with any sort of legal matters, justice will prevail. Justice will triumph for you this month. It's also indicative of living a balanced karmic life. A state of balance is needed when determining a situation or issue. So for those of you especially who will be encountering this deceptive type relationship in the future, you need to 
find some sense of balance in, the, in your way of thinking in order to determine the best course of action for you. What are you willing to live and not live without? And of course, whenever there's deceptive behavior that comes through, that's a red flag there. So you need to find the balance and harmony in that situation. But ultimately, I am feeling that you will triumph over whatever challenges you encounter, Libra. Okay, now your next card is Disruption. Okay, now the Disruption card is representative of the Tower card in traditional tarot. Okay, and usually when this card pops up, it represents sudden unforeseen disruption. A major change, negative experience can lead to enlightenment. It's a total shift in your lifestyle and it's an opportunity to rebuild with solid positive structure to make situ situations stronger in your life. And it's asking you to learn from your past mistakes. Use those lessons as a stepping stone because the, those lessons are a blessing in disguise. And it's picking up part of those lessons from when you released your ex. You've learned, Libra, what works and does not work for you, what you're willing to take into your life and what you're not. You've learned from your mistakes. And I'm feeling that for those of you heading into the future, when you do encounter this relationship that in a way is very disruptive in your life because it is deceptive, I'm not feeling good energies coming from it. And you do find it in yourself to free yourself and take back control of your life. That in a way will be a blessing in disguise because it will make way for you to find that relationship that's meant for you. Okay. So now, finally, you're left with the Heart Chakra card. And this card is actually representative of the words I love, and it also represents air energy. So for those of you who are looking to get into a relationship or are in a relationship uh, with an air sign that's coming through here, it represents unconditional love and compassion harmony, relationships. It's representative of the healing link between your mind, body, and soul. And I'm really feeling the energies coming through very strongly for those of you who are calling in your soulmate in the present position. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling a good energy with that connection for those of you who especially will take the time to express your love to your soulmate and that keeping an eye on the fact that they, they differ from your usual type, the usual type of person that you've entertained being with in the past. Okay. So let's pull some angel messages to close out your reading for June, Libra. Angels, please bring forth for my Libra singles. The messages that you would like to communicate with us at this time. It may or may not involve romance, guys, but the messages that come through are always beneficial when it comes to this deck, and we will certainly welcome any messages that are brought forth today. So let's see what we've got. Okay. All right, Libra singles. Let's see what we have. Angels, please bring forth your messages. There we go. Okay. The card that came through for you is Angel Athena. Angel Athena's card represents power. It states, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. When you are in a seat of power, you are in control of your life. And you've exercised that in the past when you released your ex. And you will exercise that again in the future. You will be in a seat of power to free yourself from any situations that come in that do not work for you. You're powerful. You're more powerful than you realize, Libra. So you will be okay. 
moving forward, I'm feeling. And the additional bottom of the deck card, the angel card that came through is Archangel Michael. And I absolutely love when his card comes through because it states, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. He's blessing your reading. He's there for you, giving you the courage to make those life choices that will put you in a good place in the future, Libra. And I had forgotten to mention, actually, the bottom of the deck card for the tarot cards that I had pulled is positive movement forward. So you are going to ensure that the steps you take from now through the end of this month and potentially for the next three months, I'm feeling, you're going to be moving into a positive movement in your life. All good energies coming through for you. And actually beneath that card is the triumph card once again. So that word has been popping up in this reading for you. The word triumph, that justice will prevail, especially in regard to any challenging issues that arise for you, whether it's of a legal nature or whether if it's in regard to romance, Libra. But you're going to be all right. You're going to do well and you're going to prosper and you're going to be powerful moving forward in your life in regard to romance, in regard to any other areas of your life. You're in a seat of power, so take advantage of that in the upcoming months, all right? So that's my messages for you guys for Libra Singles for this month of June 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if uh, you would like a personal reading, please access that information down below, and I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.